Hello everyone. Today the project at Zagri Farm is adjusting the outboard bearing for the generator or alternator on our Fairbanks Morse Model 32E. The way you do that is with a crankshaft distortion gauge, which you see here mounted between the crankshaft webs of the cylinder closest to the flywheel. And the purpose of this gauge is to see whether the weight of the alternator influences the crankshaft up or down and what that'll do is as you rotate the engine from top to bottom dead center it'll smush the crankshaft web in or splay it out. And the outboard bearing is adjusted by means of this jacking screw. There's one here and one on the other side and also some shims that get shoved in here. So now to adjust the up and down of this bearing shell it's a little challenging because you use this jacking screw to lift up the bearing but in the end what you're doing is you're installing shims loosening the screw till it's finger finger loose and then tightening these bolts down and these shims definitely have some compression to it so you could get it perfect with this screw but you can't jam shims in there until it's tight and then tighten it tighten these down because it'll compress the shims. So what I'm going to do is get it close with the screw, stuff in as many shims as I can, jack it up a little bit higher with the screw, put a couple more shims in, drop it off of these screws, check it, and if it's close, tighten these down, check it again, and adjust up or down as needed. You also adjust the outboard bearing side to side using these screws and rather than measuring with the crankshaft at top and bottom, you measure the crankshaft at one position and then 180 degrees from that horizontally. Okay, so here we're checking the up and down alignment of the bearing. I have the dial indicator in place. See it's right at zero. Now ideally that indicator should be right in the center line of the uh, main bearings, but of course the connecting rod is in the way, so I have it in a location that I've determined that uh, it will not be hit by the connecting rod or these bolts or anything when I swing the engine around. So now with this in place and zero, I'm going to bar the engine over with a bar in the flywheel holes so that this is now at top dead center. Now this cylinder is at top dead center. The gauge is still in there. And we are at plus one thou, almost, just a hair under. And that is pretty good. I think that's more than sufficient. And some paperwork that we have for our Atlas Imperial, which is a smaller engine, that states that three thousandths deflection is max tolerance. And this is a much bigger engine, so I figure it's a greater tolerance. But one thou is just about as close as I'm going to try to get. So now let's do the horizontal adjustment. Now here's the same cylinder uh, with the throw horizontal. Once again, the dial indicator is zeroed. I'm going to rotate the engine over this way, keeping the indicator in place. And we'll take another reading. So here's the crankshaft, 180 degrees from where it was. And if you take a peek in there, we're at plus two thousandths. And that's, that's all there is to it. Now, with up and down and side to side adjusted, I'm going to tighten everything down nice and firm to the final torque that I want, and then recheck with the indicator the distortion both up and down and side to side to make sure that tightening these didn't adversely affect the adjustment that I want. Well everybody that's all there is to it. One more step is completed in the process of getting this engine running. All of our plumbing is done. 
our cooling system is arriving, getting close to completion. And the last real thing we have to do is get our air compressor set up. This is a 250 PSI air compressor. It originally had a gas engine on it that we don't have anymore, so we're going to use an electric motor to run the compressor. We have an air tank behind that wall, 200 or 300 PSI air tank to receive the air, and then we can crank over the engine and start it. So thanks for watching. Make sure to stop by to the farm and uh, check out our progress during our shows. And make sure to subscribe and come on back for more.